Okay, now on the last video, here's where we stopped. We solved this equation, which was a little bit, you know, lengthy, and we got down to here. x plus 5 equals 0 means x is negative 5, x minus 4 equals 0 means x is 4. Now, with a radical equation, you always have to check your answers in the original problem. The original problem says the square root of 5x plus 29 equals x plus 3. And I'm going to write that problem down two times. I'm writing the original problem down twice. And here's why. I have two answers to check. I have to check negative 5. I have to check 4. And it doesn't matter which one we start with. Let's start with negative 5. If I plug a negative 5 in here, every place I see x, I have 5 times negative 5 plus 29 equals negative 5 plus 3. Negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. And when I look under here, look what happens. Negative 25 plus 29 is 4. Is the square root of 4 equal to negative 2? No, it is not. So when I put in the number negative 5, it did not work. Cross it out. Now let's try a 4. Go to my original problem. I have the square root of 5 times 4 plus 29 equals 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. And here we have a radical. 20 plus 29 is 49. Is the square root of 49 equal to 7? Yes. So what does that mean about the number 4? It works. So the only answer to this problem is the number 4. And you have to remember with every radical equation to check the answers because sometimes one will fail and one will work. Sometimes they'll both work and sometimes they'll both fail. So you need to check. And whenever you check, you always go back to the original equation the way it was written with the radical in it.